What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. It's talking about Jeepers Creepers 4 in this video here again today. Jeepers Creepers are born. What you see on your screen is what appears to have been maybe a at one point the original title. It's an alternate title that they were considering for Jeepers Creepers 4. This is coming from a copyright database that pertains to going all the way back to 2019 where we, we could have possibly I could have been doing stuff about this jeepers creepers 4 topic a little bit better if i had known about websites like this back in back in those times but on the website and i'll leave a link to it in the description it has a registered copyright something like a trademark i guess with the title of jeepers creepers 4 the demon among us now the demon among us seems to be very similar to what was planned by victor salva himself with his actual third movie jeepers creepers the creeper walks among us before it was turned into jeepers creepers cathedral which ultimately of course got scrapped because the script leaked online and even then you know i i think many of us still believe that who cares if the script leaked online still make the movie it's either tweak it or just rewrite it don't do what we got i don't know why the decision I, ultimately i think the decision to do what we had in the third one came down to the budget didn't want to do cathedral without the appropriate budget so on that level i can respect it but at the same time if you're going to do a prequel many of us still would prefer you have done kenny and darla so that's one of the positives i want to get out of the way about the fact that there seems to have been an alternate title that i found that could have once been the title for jeepers creepers reborn and it was looking like it was going to be called jeepers creepers the demon among us and if you want to go back and screenshot it looks like that can that that was originated all the way back from 2019 2020 jake seal was attached to that who is another individual i'm going to be talking about mostly in this video jake seal is one of the producers involved with jeepers creepers 4 I think he had a hand in jeepers creepers 3 but mostly what i need to talk about is two other lawsuits that i have found that pertain to jake seal now the thing here that's interesting is that he's already intertwined with the ongoing one with Myriad Pictures versus Infinity Films because of the fact that they are alleging that they had a contractual right to first first distribution or last refusal to any productions regarding the Jeepers Creepers franchise and the fact that this movie was shot and produced behind their back and then sold to screen media is what brought us to this lawsuit that we have had and what's been going on with them since March of 2021. However, there have been some other lawsuits that have been going on in 2021 outside of just that particular lawsuit as pertains to Jake Seal, who has had his name across several lawsuits that I've come across. The two in particular that I'm going to be talking about are tied to Jeepers Creepers 4 because of the, the titles of Oro Studios and the title Going Places, which I will explain as I get into one of the first ones, which is going to be related to Oro Studios. There was a lawsuit filed in 2021 with Jake Seal being the defendant by a company that is, well, actually, Okay, so what you see on your screen is actually just an individual. It's Gail Rasmussen versus Jake Seal. Now, I'll leave a link again to most of this stuff in the description so you can get a better understanding of it. The gist of what I collected is that one of the defendants outside of just being Jake Seal was a LLC titled Going Places. Now, Going Places was the working title for Jeepers Creepers 4, Jeepers Creepers Reborn. We learned that to be true based off all the things that I've already talked about in these videos and how they came to be true from the official announcements that came out. So this is, again, another lawsuit that I guess something regarding Jeepers Creepers 4 is tied into related to Jake Seal, who was, again, one of the producers for Jeepers Creepers 4. It seems to be something related to a breach of contract as well, just like how the Myriad Pictures one seems to be related to breaching contracts. The other one is regarding Oro Studios, who is one of the production companies behind Jeepers Creepers 4. So a German company with the same name went after jake seal in 2021 uh that company that oral company is the complainant with and i think they're based in germany and jake seal again was a defendant now the thing here the gist of what i gathered was that they were trying to argue that the logo and design of what we have with this production company trying to give us jeepers creepers 4 is something that was derived maybe or stolen from their original logo because if you actually look up that company name the german one you will see that it does yes share a logo similar to the one that we have for the the the, the, the apparent 
what they call themselves oral studio distribution company that is producing jeepers creepers reborn so i guess what they're they were alleging from what i gathered is that their likeness was being stolen for i would say nefarious reasons is also something i think i read in in there but again from what i'm saying here in this video my opinion is these people don't need to be handling anything with any future jeepers creepers movies regardless of if we get this movie this year or not i don't think we need to have timo and sola involved i don't think we need to have jake seal involved because of three ongoing lawsuits that apparently are happening uh with jake specifically and the stuff that's already out there online regarding all of these things that happened supposedly with iron sky and you know i just don't think that these people should be the ones handling anything related to this property anymore the other thing that's interesting is that if you actually go to the oral distribution website i'll leave a link to that in the description there is a there is a section that tries to point out the tax incentive benefits about shooting movies in louisiana now those of you who've been active on twitter and know about trevor who worked with Timo on Iron Sky, his theory is that they are trying to do what they what he thinks is another tax rebate scam, which apparently is something that went on with previous Iron Sky projects. Now, the thing that's funny there is how this website is pointing out the tax incentive advantages of shooting movies in Louisiana. So again, it kind of just makes us think, is that theory correct? Are they indeed trying to do a tax rebate scam? Again, I've tried to talk about how this movie could be released despite its ongoing lawsuit. I mean, maybe they are going to again just have a quick showing of it for those in attendance at Horror Hound, rush it to VOD. Maybe it ends up getting pulled from VOD because of the because of the lawsuit. Maybe at the end of this, Myriad Pictures just profits from all of the proceeds from the movie being released. Screen Media gets nothing. And and going forward you won't have these people involved with jeepers creepers 5 the other thing i want to talk about was victor salva who according to stacy lingham who we know is supposed to be Derry jr victor apparently stated he doesn't think this movie is going to come out that's what stacy is saying but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you can never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video